Joining us now to talk more about beef safety and research is Mandy Carr Johnson, Senior Executive Director of Science and Product Solutions here at NCBA. Mandy, you and your team recently attended and I understand presented at the uh, 14th Annual Beef Safety Summit. Tell folks a little bit about uh, that conference and why it's so important to our industry. Well, thank you, Kevin. It started in 2003, and it is an annual event where we bring together representation across the whole industry from uh, cow-calf producers all the way to retail and food service. And it really is a three-day event solely focused on beef safety, and it's one of the only ones in the country. And what are some of the key lessons that you learned by attending that event? This year, we had some really great topics. We covered things like antibiotic resistance, we talked a lot about using water for improving beef safety, but also how do we manage the sustainability impact of those kinds of technologies, all the way to new technologies to improve carcass safety um, as well. You know, when you talk about carcass safety and meat safety and so forth, so many times that seems so far removed from the producer level, but is there a role for producers in either managing pathogens or just beef safety in general? Absolutely. Um, producers play a critical role in raising healthy animals, and healthy animals is directly correlated to producing safe beef. So as producers are working through their process of raising healthy cattle, it's critical that they work with their veterinarian for good herd health programs, vaccinations to uh, maintain herd health, but also if they choose to use an antibiotic that they use it judiciously and in consultation with their veterinarian. So, so, you know, consumer confidence is so important, and we've seen uh, that uh, deteriorate in some products and, and, and restaurant chains and so forth over time. Uh, why is that so important to the industry? And, and, and tell us the role safety has in improving consumer confidence. Well, we know from some recent work that it was funded by the Cattlemen's Beef Board that safety is in direct correlation with beef demand. Mm -hmm. So for a consumer to have confidence in the products that they're purchasing, purchasing for their families and their friends, safety is one of the most critical factors that they choose to select products on. And, and what are some of the other areas beyond safety that you and your team are focused on? So we also have research work going on in product quality, so improving beef's flavor and its consistency, maybe different ways to fabricate a carcass to bring more money back to producers. Other examples is in human nutrition to ensure that beef has a role in a healthy diet, all the way to sustainability, looking at how do we reduce food waste um, and that overall impact. Yeah, there's a lot of issues that are important to consumers and their attitude towards beef. And I guess I would ask you, what successes have you had in, in what might be called technology transfer, getting the research into the hands of those people that, that have a lot of influence over consumers? So we have some great examples. Obviously, one of the early examples in beef safety is the transfer of information and research to improve uh, carcass intervention. So spray washes, trimming, those kinds of technologies, but also now in pre-harvest, understanding vaccination impact or the use of antibiotics and how that impacts food safety. But also from a product quality standpoint, things like alternative fabrication. So the flat iron steak is a great example uh, that have come about in the last 15 or so years. So good examples of transferring that to those in the processing industry and production that make decisions, but also the nutrition research is really impactful in making sure that as regulatory agencies make sound scientific decision, they have the information that is conducting on beef as well. And one last question, as you look ahead, what are some of the key research priorities for you and your team? So in safety, most critically will be the reduction of salmonella, but also uh, preventing antibiotic resistance formation. Um, in product quality, again, it is um, alternative fabrication styles, but a real focus on consistency of beef flavor to ensure that consumers enjoy their eating experience every time they eat beef. In nutrition, it really is about ensuring that beef has a place in a heart healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle diet. And in sustainability, it'll be continuing to develop the information for the life cycle assessment, which is the largest of its kind that really helps us tell the story about how producers uh, maintain a sustainable production system that impacts all the way to the consumer. You've got a full plate, don't you? It's a, it's a good group to work with in a busy time. Absolutely, thank you so much for coming to the show, Mandy. Thank you. To stay up to date on NCBA's efforts in things like beef safety research, sustainability, and human nutrition, just visit the website at beefresearch.org.